let us write a login test case for the Android WordPress app. This video is split into two sections. In the first section, we will download the WordPress APK and then set up the desired capabilities in APM desktop tool. And then in PyCharm, we will write a test script to verify the login flow. Open Google and then search WordPress APK Pure. Open the apkpure.com website and then download the APK and paste the downloaded file into your desktop inside any folder and then open your APM desktop tool. I have already created a capability settings for the WordPress app. Let me show you all the fields. I have platform name, platform version, device name, automation name, app, app package, app activity, and then no reset. Uh, the app path is set to my desktop, uh, as you can notice here. In the next step, I'll show you how to get the app package and app activity with a single command. Install the WordPress APK into the emulator. I'm going to drag and drop the WordPress APK file. Now you can see that WordPress app is successfully installed. Click on it. And then open your terminal. And type the following command, which is adb shell dump sys window. And then we are gripping the current focus. As you do that, we can see that the app package is shown here, which is org.wordpress.android. And uh, the activity which we are currently in is login activity. But once you log in into the WordPress app, the activity, main activity is going to be the WP launch activity. That's the reason we gave uh, the app activity as launch activity. Let me start the session. Let me start the WordPress, sorry, APM server and then launch the inspector session. Okay. Uh, APM inspector captured the screenshot and then we can see the WordPress app running in the emulator. We are going to perform the login case. So let us go through the steps quickly. Just to click on login button and then in the email field, he has to provide his email ID, which is AK mobile testing at gmail.com. Click on next. Enter the password in next screen. So you can notice a delay over here. So we have to add sleep accordingly. I'm going to choose the second option, which is enter your password instead. And I'm going to type my password and again click on next. So this is taking a long time to authenticate the user. So we need to add a sleep of at least 10 seconds maybe. And finally, I have to click on continue button and the locator for that is primary button. After we successfully log in, I'm going to assert the title of the blog and the locator value for that is my site title label. I have already captured the locator values. Now let us quickly write the automation script. I'm going to create a new Python file 
we name it test android login so uh, again from apm we have to import the web driver i'm going to import pytest and uh, i'm also going to import sleep from time module so uh, let us create a new class and then name it test android login so this under this test class we are going to have two methods the first method is setup method and within the setup method we are going to initialize the driver so the command is webdriver.remote and we are going to give the command executor and it is going to take a string which is the ip address of the apm server running on port 4723 and we are going to the following url and then we have to give the desired capabilities for this we can copy the desired capabilities from the apm inspector tool so i'm going to uh, wordpress android and then copying the whole of this and i'm going to paste it here change this to python standards add a comma in the end and uh, flower braces to end so now we have successfully completed the setup method now let us write the teardown method the teardown method is going to quit the driver after the test case completes now let us write the actual method which is test android login and uh, so first we have to click on login button so i'm going to self dot driver dot find element by i'm going to use the id option and then i'm going to input the email id the script is successfully written so uh, i'm going to first click on the login button and then send keys which is my email id and click on next button in the password page before that we are going to click on login enter with password and uh, i'm going to send my password in the next step and finally click on the primary button and land inside the blog page and finally i'm going to assert the title of my blog let us run this test case app will restart when the test case starts so i have added a sleep of 10 seconds to ensure that the page transition happens properly and now we are entering the password and after the user clicks on next button i'm adding a sleep of 15 seconds for the authentication step to complete and finally we are going to click on the continue button which is in the bottom and we assert the title of the blog you can see that the title of the blog is ak mobile testing and 
that is the text which we are asserting in the last step.